All right, what it do, YouTube family? It's your girl, Aquabonique, and I'm back with another video. And today, I am going to show you how to register your beats on SoundExchange. So before I get this video started, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload new content. Give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment below and tell me what types of videos you want to see. And again, if you haven't picked up a copy of the book, make sure you pick up a copy of The Hitchhiker's Guide to Releasing Music where I show you guys when, where, and how to register your music so you can get paid. So I had a uh, YouTube subscriber ask me um, about registering their beats on Sound Exchange. So I wanted to break down the structure of how to register beats on Sound Exchange because Sound Exchange is for the sound recording. And when the sound recording is released publicly, you want to get paid a digital performance royalty. Now for producers, it's a little bit different because producers are releasing music or releasing beats, but they aren't necessarily putting their beats in stores. So I'm going to explain to the producers how you are going to register your beats. So first, when you go in to register the beat, they're going to ask you the artist name, the song title, and they're going to ask you for an ISRC code. So there's a few ways that you can get an ISRC code. You can actually go to the U.S. ISRC code website, register for a registered code, and they will allocate to you ISRC codes um, for your music. Um, you can use those ISRC codes for your beats. You can use those codes for artists. You can use those codes for any song um, that you release publicly. You can also get ISRC codes from DistroKid. Uh, DistroKid actually gives you the option to release up to 50 songs at one time. And each 50 of those songs, um, each one of the 50 songs will get a different ISRC code from DistroKid. Now, there's a few uh, hazards with choosing each option. Um, if you decide to go with DistroKid um, with your ISRC codes, um, DistroKid is actually the registrant for those codes and you don't own those codes, DistroKid do. But if you go with the uh, registrant code and go through the ISRC codes yourself, then when it's time to register your songs, you'll have your ISRC codes from your registrant code, but when it's time to register the release, you'll have to have a UPC or a EAN number for the actual release. So I'm going to tell you guys how to get a UPC code. So first you wanna register for a UPC code here. Um, it's just simply barcodes.com. Um, and the barcodes are $89 a piece versus DistroKid or United Masters or any other distributor, they provide you with the UPC code as well. Um, but here, they give you the UPC code. Now, when you're registered for your UPC code, they are going to ask you for some barcode information. If you don't have that information, you want to click here and say that you don't have that information um, for your code. Uh, but if you do have that information, you'll probably get it from the gs1us.org website where you get barcodes allocated to you. So that is a long, long process. And I only advise that method to um, record labels and people running big budget businesses. So for independent artists, independent producers, your best course of action is using your distributor or to get your ISRC codes and UPC codes that you want to add to your release so that you can submit your music so let's see what this let's see what happens when i use one of my digital kit irsrc codes so here now you see everything is green so as a producer um my advice to you is to start releasing beat tapes getting those irsrc codes and upc codes because even if an artist rap to your beat and you give them exclusive rights to the beat at least the beat version of the song is out there um so if you like this video make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel 
already and hit that post notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload new content. You already know the vibes. It's your girl, I go by Neek.